Hello and welcome to the Innet Game here with my Train to Team of the Aramal series. And in this video I'm just gonna be you know showcasing what in forms you could buy you should buy and invest in, in this team of the week. To start with I'm gonna have a look at Soldado because if you look at him he's got great stats for that 81 pace, 85 shot, 81 dribbling and with that heading 84, he looks like a bit of a tank. And so you should invest in him because well, those stats they speak for themselves, don't they? I'm pretty sure he'll fly up once people realise exactly how good he is. My second choice is Labiad, you know, 85 pace, 82 dribbling. League of Portuguese is not the best league, so he might not be immediately popular. But like Rodriguez, the Colombian in form in League of Portuguese, he can. He shot up 50, 60k. And even now he's up 70k, isn't he? So he's shot up from about 15 to that. Maybe this guy can do the same. And if you've bought one, maybe two, and he shoots up 50k, look at that, easy 100k profit. And I'm pretty sure he will with a solid stat. I mean, I'm going to try him out, and I'm pretty sure others will too. My, you know, last choice is uh, Julius Cesar, purely because he's the best informed keeper in the Premier League. People love to buy black cards, but they'll all be trying to try him out. And he's got pretty good stats, to be honest, with that 81 diving, 81 handling, 85 position. 85 position, that's, hand, that's handy. So I think I'll probably give him a go as well for this team of the week, although not the best overall. There's a few people I want to try, but then again, I think that about most team of the week. And anyone else? Raphael probably didn't deserve an inform, did he? Leave your opinion in the comments. No, good good finish, Milner, but was it a shot? That's the question. And I've already done a video on inform new path, so I'll leave that in the description. Go check that out. And so like, subscribe to see this video every week, and I'll see you all next time.